le youtuber side well here we are garbage post number 100 i'm kind of surprised i got here to be honest i i guess i could say that i never expected to be here but i mean it's posting 100 pieces of content it's not like climbing mount everest it's not that difficult but i do think at least i'm still very proud of myself um, for sticking it out for sticking to this plan i remember when uh, someone suggested i do this thing i was like man this is crazy are you kidding me 100 pieces of content in 30 days that's that's tough that's um, especially for someone that was uh, like a perfectionist like I am I don't want to do that and um, so yeah so here I am and I am really proud of myself I did it I posted 100 pieces of content so what did I learn about this well I interesting I think my biggest takeaway from this entire challenge is just do it I know that sounds corny and meany but you can watch as many um, how to do content videos as you want, how to do this, how to do that, how to do perfect lighting, how to do all that stuff, yada, 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 the whole nine yards. You can watch all the content you want about how to create content. But at the end of the day, the best way to actually learn something is just by doing it yourself. Now, I'm still learning in many ways. Um, for example, this video is probably going to have a lot of cuts in it. This video is probably going to have a lot of cuts in it. Thank you, Editor Me. I got you, bro. But I do, I, I do think I, I did learn a lot about myself. And surprisingly, a lot of ways how I could do content easier, like a lot easier and just do it quicker and faster. For example, Instagram Reels, I've, I've got them down pat now. I, I can find something very quickly and make it just do a few quick little shots and get something done in about 15 minutes and where I used, to, I used to balk at doing something like that and yeah that is still um, something I'm pretty proud of I, I, I've learned a process I taught myself how to look for content quickly now th there are certain things I didn't do I didn't do as much as I would have wanted to there's still a few video ideas I had um, that I just never had the time for or it didn't work out um, so I, I think I might do them. I still might, I might be interested in, in um, doing them at some point if I have the time. It, that, that, I think that's another big takeaway I have from this challenge is um, realizing I do kind of have a knack for this and I do enjoy it. So I might continue doing this kind of as a creative outlet for myself and to level up my skills. And uh, um, I, I'm really thankful to each of you for subscribing to this random guy just sitting there uh, posting random content so yeah thank you guys so much for subscribing and thank you guys so much for sticking with me on this journey well, if you're a newcomer hey I have an entire um, playlist of videos about me trying to get over my perfectionism and uh, learning how to do things quickly. You can check that out here. I'm still getting used to which side it is. If you're interested in checking that out, see, I'm getting better off this old YouTube thing, right? So yeah, and um, by the way, 43,500 people that checked out the Fuji and I video. First of all, thank you so much. Secondly, why? Like, it's just me talking about uh, Fuji Apple, right? You can clearly hear the echo in the background. It's not like my, my, my most favorite video, and for some random reason, that's the one that takes us off. Hey, again, I'm super thankful. Thank you guys for clicking on that video, but why? The eternal question, right? So, yeah, I, I might do something like this again at some point. Um, do something... Keep continuing the challenge. It kind of opened up my my mind. I I definitely think I succeeded in the in the sense that I'm less of a perfectionist, and I do think that like it helped me. Um, as as I said, the best way to learn how to do content quickly is to just to do it. I am reminded of this uh, story that a professor and I think Florida did, where he gave he, he divided his class into two sections. And one section uh, was said, okay, you can take five pictures, but they have to be absolutely perfect. And the war students sweated and went crazy and basically went, um, went insane trying to find the perfect picture. 
and the other half of the class are just saying, hey, just go for it, just take one of the random pictures. And the end result is that um, the students that did the one um, the 100 challenge, the, the, essentially, that the, 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 the took 100 pictures, wanted up doing much better, had much more pictures because they weren't that concerned about being a perfectionist. The best way to learn is just ultimately just to do it. That's my, one of my biggest takeaways. It's just sometimes it works and so sometimes as you're doing something you learn like on the fly. That's the, the, the best way to do it. So yeah, I am super glad. I think my big take, takeaway I learned. Um, I got a process. I've uh, learned how to do better editing. I learned my editing program better. All in all, I think this is, challenge has been a, a great success for me. As if I would keep doing it again, well, it, it is a bit draining to put yourself kind of got that kind of stress to do, do 100 pieces of content in 30 days. It's a bit of a, 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 a stretch. And it was good for me, so I think I might do it at some point again. Um, or something like it. Likewise, I, I kind of now discovered I do like editing and video production and stuff, so I might just keep doing that. But I, I might just tune it down a little bit. Like I said, I, I of the the platforms I like most, this would be my favorite. YouTube is my favorite platform, and I feel that I've gotten better, but editing still takes a while, and that's something that I I feel like there's a lot of. So my, my, my favorite part of this was this was creating videos so I would try to delve in a little bit more into that but a hundred videos in 30 days is gonna be rough it's just gonna be oof. like yeah you can't and not like that not like the type of videos I've made in this challenge like the root video or the soda video or any of those kind of videos they are probably not gonna work we're trying to do 100 of them in 30 days. So yeah, and as I, as I said from the beginning in the first video of this entire challenge, I encourage anyone to try this. It's worked wonderfully for me. Um, I, I think I learned a lot about myself um, and at a lot of just, just getting over my, my perfectionism, like thinking, oh, this isn't good enough, and just saying, just, just no, just print that, just press that set, that publication, that publish button, just press that upload button and just get on with it and so yeah I, I really encourage anyone to try out this challenge to do something similar to kind of get a little bit out of your comfort zone uh, it worked, worked great for me I said like I said I gained subscribers and I gained viewers although that was not the aim of the challenge I was trying to get over my perfectionism uh, or and kind of that fear of rejection and stuff but I'm super thankful for all those people. But like I said, that wasn't the aim, aim of the challenge. That was that was a that was a very welcome bonus. But it was still a bonus. It was, that was like not what I was aiming for. So thank you everyone. But yeah, this is this has been fun. Um, might do it again at some point. Like I said I still have a few ideas in the back of my mind. I want to turn into videos at some point. I just didn't have the time to edit them or the time to film them. So yeah, I. I guess this is, well, I don't want to sound too sentimental, but just, uh, I think this is uh, goodbye for now, and I'll, I'll see you when I see you again. Thanks for watching.